If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable muck coins, check out my sponsor at MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The Welcome back, Money Team. This is Matt Money Shots. Then we got the Madden Cheese, as always. In today's video, we have a massive update. Lots of new stuff added to the game in Madden 25. So I want to get right into this video and don't spend too much time on the intro. But before I do, if you guys want to continue to do update videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's get right into the video. Now, one of the things that they said they were going to add to the gameplay of Madden 25 from College Football 25 was the revamp passing mechanic. Guess what? They added the revamp passing mechanic. So if you like that from College Football 25, you can now use that in Madden 25. You just have to set it in your settings. Uh, they have a couple of things that they add to their settings. They also add the new switch stick delay option in the gameplay settings menu, which is something that they already did in college football. So these are things that we had to expect in Madden at some point. Uh, you can now set that to no delay, slight delay, large delay, or disable the switch stick entirely, which I don't necessarily recommend because I do think the switch stick is definitely valuable. So don't disable it. But if you want to put on a slight delay so that you don't necessarily uh, accidentally switch stick when the play starts, I think that's definitely a good way to go. Um, they also fixed the, uh, the, custom, uh, the custom stem issue, which was allowing for receivers to get speed boost off the line of scrimmage. Once again, they just fixed that on Thursday's update for uh, College Football 25, so you had to expect to come to Madden at some point. It says that we made this speed boost much harder to achieve, and we're working to fix uh, for a future update title. So apparently this is something that's still somewhat available, and they're still trying to patch it. So it says there's also additional change coming soon that will further balance which route segments will be able to be customized. So basically they're going to start um, decreasing the amount of routes as well as you can custom stem, which is kind of trash. I mean, honestly, I feel like the custom stem thing uh, is, is pretty good. It definitely puts a lot of power to the offense. But not being able to, you know, they're basically gonna to kind of gonna limit it. And I said this when I first heard they were gonna give custom stems and all the uh, the custom routes that we have, all the all the hot routes that we have, that it was gonna be too overpowered for offense. And it sounds like they're already kind of backing off of that as they're trying to uh, to tune this down. Now there was a lot of tuning as well. Uh, they also updated to make online kick meter default to the new multimeter, as well as the default to the hospitality suite. They mentioned the hospitality suite uh, twice. When they, they also talk about that when it comes to revamp passing mechanic as well. It says it was also added to the hospitality suite. There was a lot of tuning. It says they tuned to increase the defensive lineman chance to sniff out a halfback sc uh, slip screen play, which is something they also talked about in college. It says they tuned to decrease pass speed when equipped with velocity-based passing abilities like set feet lead and pass lead elite. So apparently uh, that's just a little bit too overpowered. They tried to nerf that a little bit. Um, it says that they uh, also tuned the pursuit angles. It said they added new pursuit logic to further differentiate high pursuit rated players, improving pursuit angles for better players, which is something they also mentioned in college football, although I can't say that I really noticed a huge difference there. But they're saying that if you have really good players, they should take better angles, which I don't, I don't know. That sounds like lip service to me. Um, it says that they also added logic so that defenders will not be faked out on double pass trick plays when using pass commit. Now, this is something, once again, they did in college football. They didn't word it that well. They didn't word it the way that they did here, where they specifically said it's based off of double pass trick plays. In, in college, they didn't mention what it was for. They just said they improved uh, defenses against uh, trick plays when you guessed pass. So I'm glad that they went a little bit further because it was confusing. They also uh, said something similar to this next one here. Uh, but this one, once again, they said way more specifically. It says, fixed an issue allowing a free rusher on specific blitz setup out of the nickel 2-4 double mug and one out of the dollar 3-2 overload. Now, once again, I put out a specific blitz where you can get a free rusher right off the center, uh, right up the A-gap, like instantly from the 2-4 mug. It sounds like they're specifically addressing that because when you, um, you know, if you were doing the uh, the disengage blitz, it wasn't necessarily one guy. It would be in a way that, you know, they would just kind of, you get a random free rusher up the middle. This one here sounds like it's very specific, so I wonder if it's based off of the blitz that I put out. But either way, they're trying to nerf the 2-4 double mug, uh, you know, the 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 you know A-gap blitz and stuff like that you can make out of that. So that should be a little less successful. Successful. I know it's an issue for a lot of people. It says, Dev note, similar to the kickoff issue, there are other blitzes in addition to ones fixed in this update that the team is actively, work, actively working towards addressing as soon as possible. Now, I didn't even go over the kickoff issue because it does mention it there, but it says um, that they updated the placement of the ball to be at the 30-yard line after a kickoff goes out the back of the end zone. I uh, wasn't aware that that wasn't happening. I guess that's part of the new rule. I still don't really understand the new rule when it comes to kickoffs. I have to watch more football games before I actually understand that. It also said tuning to wide receiver blocking so that defensive backs are able to get off blocks quicker in ratings matchups favoring the defender. And then it also says tuning to wide receiver slash DB block interactions so DBs 
are able to get off the blocks quicker when they have the appropriate rating. So that kind of sounds like the same thing, which is, once again, something that they put in college, uh, something to kind of help to stop these outside runs and RPOs. Uh, basically, you know, defensive backs can, can try to get off of blocks quicker. That's basically the idea. Same thing they said in college. It says, fixed issues causing sideline characters to go through edge walls in Seattle, Miami, and New Orleans. It also says they tuned to decrease illegal man down field penalties on RPOs, which I can't believe they actually did because that's been in Madden for years. Once again, they said that. They did that in college football as well. It says that they also fixed an issue causing characters to go through edge walls in Seattle, Miami, and New Orleans stadiums. So that must be something that, uh, you know, they, they also said that they fixed a variety of minor animation issues when it comes to the physics-based tackling, which I don't think physics-based tackling is even in the game, uh, but that's something that they said that they addressed. It says fix an issue allowing halfbacks to be given uh, backfield hot routes when aligned on the uh, at the line of scrimmage. So uh, hopefully this didn't have the same issues. Speaking of uh, hot routes being an issue, after the last patch, when it came to College Football 25, you can't hot route running backs that are in play action uh, animations now. So hopefully they didn't. You're not. It's not going to cause the same issue. That was an issue caused in the last patch. Hopefully that wasn't caused in this patch because that's super annoying that you can't change the running back to anything. Now there's a couple more issues here that they also fix in college football. Fix an issue allowing players to use the spin move when using the conservative ball carrier coach adjustment, which was also an issue in college football 25. It says fix an issue allowing defenders to sometimes slip through double teams without appropriate animation. Once again, that was what more what they said in the college football 25. They didn't mention specifically the double mug, but that was what we all kind of uh, assumed when they when they said that. So that they sound like separate uh, patches now. It also says fix an issue causing defenders to go off sides from pre-snap movement in a variety of defensive formations, which is something that's been in the game a while. You'll get random, uh, you know, you'll make some adjustments and get some random offside penalties. And then it also says fix a rare issue causing the quarterback to become frozen when being tackled during a specific handoff. Now they also add a lot of plays to the Philadelphia Eagles playbook specifically. The wide receiver mid-screen from the slot drive RPO Q stick draw add to the gun tray open. The mid screen is actually really good in college football, so I, I think that's something. If you if you play with the Eagles playbook, you should definitely try that. It says the motion fork H choice motion hitch and go motion Y post added to the gun trips tight end flex. The tackle trap, uh, which sounds like a good play. The hammer dagger PA jailbreak screen add to the gun tight way off weak. The Y flat goal line Z mesh goal line Z spot goal line add to the bunch nasty. And uh, 21 plays add to the gun normal while off close. Now, that's a really good That's one of my favorite formations, so I'm sure that's going to be one of the better ones. I'm going to have to start using this playbook a little bit more. Uh, it says, fixed an issue where a receiver would go off sides and run off the field caused by using a hot route on an auto motion player. That also happens on, uh, I think I saw a video of that happening on punt. Uh, team, you, when you go into a punt formation, a lot of times that might happen. It says, fix an issue causing man defender to get caught out of position against a cheat motion in a bunch X or the bunch wide nasty. Fix an issue causing the left tackle and tight end to collide on a strong jumbo PA spot play. And then it said a variety of improvements to play art in the, in the play call screen, which is something that the play art really doesn't even show up. I mean, that's something a lot of times you can't even see the top of a route, so you really don't have an idea of what the play is that you're calling. So hopefully they fix that issue. But lots of gameplay fixes there. They also talk about some improvements they're going to make on a future update. It says, we have clearly heard players desire for improvements to pass coverage, and the team is working on a significant set of improvements in a future title update. The upcoming improvements being investigated include hard flats, cover through deep zone, match coverage checks versus bunch sets, uh, press animations, pass velocity ability tuning, and it also says zone drop coach adjustments. In addition to pass coverage, we have also have improvements on the way for kickoff exploits, blitzes, AI play calling, and spin move tuning. So a lot of tuning uh, they're calling for in a future update. Now, we're going to move on to uh, franchise. There's not a huge amount here, but it says fix an issue where the option to import draft class from Download Center was removed from within the franchise league. So that's something that a lot of people um, obviously like to import draft classes, so that's that's probably a good thing that that's back. It says fix an issue where the wrong player model would display during an online draft after pausing and resuming the draft. And then it also says tune some areas with our logic to address some issues surrounding our simulation stats to get them more in line. Uh, and then it stops there. I'm guessing they're talking about more realistic because a lot of people were saying that um, passing statistics and stuff like that are just out outrageous. Even if you change the sliders, it doesn't change how outrageous the passing stats become, uh, which is something I saw in an online review. Obviously, it's a big issue, and they, they, they try to address it. 
Now, it also says that in Superstar mode, they updated the profanity filter flow when importing players from EA Sports College Football, uh, which is something that it's the only real thing you can import from college football, so I'm glad that they, they're, they're addressing that. It also says fix an issue where the camera would freeze during gameplay in the league, and it also says fix text issues in draft cinematics. Now, they also uh, specifically mentioned here some online head-to-head -head rank changes that they made. It says fix an issue where leaderboards cannot be sorted by rank or player name. Fix an issue where the rank summary screen was not being displayed properly when a user concedes the game. Fix an issue where incorrect rank icons are being shown in ranked leaderboards. Fix an issue where the top 100 leaderboard did not update to the correct icons. And then it's the last but not least said fix an issue where users were set to bronze or silver in the division leaderboards despite being in placement ma matches or unranked. Uh, it says dev note, these online head-to-head -head ranking updates apply to both online head-to-head -head with NFL teams and ultimate team head-to-head -head rank mode. So it's not just online, it's also in ultimate team that they added these. Now, they added a lot to the presentation. This is a big section here. Uh, it says added Sao Paulo Stadium in celebration of NFL's annual international games uh, making its debut in Brazil. That's Eagles Packers coming up on Friday. So you can now play in that stadium. Added camera angles, I'm sorry, added cameras to Super Bowl celebration cutscenes. So they're still kind of updating their cutscene. Fixed timing for players, uh, for player grade summary at the end of Superstar, the league games. Fixed incorrect helmet uh, appearing in cutscenes with a team builder team. Fixed post play stat milestone banners triggering too frequently in a single game. Fixed player warping that could occur after a broadcast wipe when the when the uh, team option was sell was selected for a uh, touchdown celebration, fixed incorrect text on broadcast wipe that said end of regulation at the end of overtime period, fixed broken pod <laughs> man, there's a lot of stuff, broken broadcast wipe if a player is tackled for a safety, uh, fixed missing replay after a fake punt, fixed coin toss result being displayed before the coin is tossed by the referee in overtime fixed coaching option in pause menu with practice mode resize the celebration mechanic wheel to be uh, smaller and moved away from the center of the screen so lots of stuff they also have a lot of uh, play art stuff a lot of audio stuff as well we're going to go to uh, player likeness updates. Xavier Worthy is now got his face in the game. Don I. Mitchell uh, for the Colts. Face now the game. Brock Bowers, tight end for the Raiders. Faces in the game. Ricky Pearsall, who just got shot, by the way, <laughs> is facing in the game. Uh, it says that uh, Quinion Mitchell, Eagles rookie cornerback, first round pick. Let's go, baby. His face is now in the game. Kenny Clark, uh, who should have been in the game a long time ago. It says updates, so I guess uh, they must have just changed. He must have changed something about his appearance. And Joe Burrow also updates. I'm guessing that maybe they have his new hairstyle that he had uh, in the game. New gear, you have the new Adidas Electric 2 cleats or Electric Plus 2 cleats and the Jordan Retro cement cleats are now in the game. And then there's a bunch of visual bug fixes, stadium texture and enlighten uh, enlighten improvements, sideline jersey number fixes, uh, gear color fixes, shoes, headbands, undershirts, etc. The Texas uniforms get an update, uh, fix some head uniform and gear clipping issues, and then just updated NFL uniform fonts. And that's pretty much it with the exception of some stuff that they go on here about the season two uh, of Mutt starting, some audio stuff as well. It says they adjusted the game uh, mix levels to make the commentary teams more audible, especially Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Fixed an issue with some music stuttering, skipping as users load into different modes, and they added over 6,000 newly recorded lines from Kate Scott and Brock Heward, as well as Mike Tirico, Greg Olson, and, and uh, Brennan Gowden and Charles Davis. I know a lot of people were complaining about Kate Scott's lack of diversity as, as far as the stuff she was saying. So that was something that definitely needed to be had, uh, adding some, some dialogue there. It says, bug fixes for commentary speaking incorrectly about the previous play. That's something, once again, the, 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 co the commentary, they're trying to change it up, but it really has been an issue this year. It says, Devna, we're aware that the Washington Commanders renamed their stadium to the Northwest Stadium. Replacement commentary will come in a future update, so they don't even have that yet. I'm going to go ahead and end the video there because, like I said, this is ridiculously long, and I want to get through as quick as possible, but there was a lot of changes. So if you guys want to see more videos uh, like this in the future, please make sure to be a subscriber. Other than that, need more help or just want to show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.